All right, welcome back, Forts fans. In this video, we're going to be talking about the brand new patch that just dropped with the Pro HUD. These are the first impressions. Just give you a quick rundown of what's going on. Make sure, you guys, if you're new here, you hit subscribe. Check out the videos on the channel, and we'll go from there. Once again, you're watching Synergy Gaming TV. I'm your host, Synergy, and I'll see you in the video. All right, guys, welcome to Synergy Gaming TV. We have got a super exciting video for you guys today. Earthwork Games has just released a new HUD called the Pro HUD for Forts, as well as a patch. Let's see what the developers have to say. Good day, Forts fans. We hope you're all staying safe and well in these unprecedented times. While we're all busy social distancing, we're happy to announce the release of new in-game content, the Pro HUD. This interface can be purchased as DLC and provides the player with a whole new graphical skin and sound effects for the in-game HUD, including main console, reactor readouts, commander gauge, and replay panel. Additionally, those who show their support with this purchase will also receive an in-game supporters medal. Head over to the store page now and receive a 20% discount for the first week. That's pretty cool, so you get this awesome supporters medal. Furthermore, we have made several important updates to the game, including a customizable profanity filter. Also, if you enjoy playing ranked but want to practice while waiting for a match, you can check the Alert to New Lobbies button in the Ranked Match screen. You will get a notification when in single player mode and can join instantly. See below for details. So, um, we already have the Pro HUD. Thanks to Earthwork Games, appreciate that very much. Uh, so we're gonna go over that and show you guys that as well in this video. Supporters Metal is very cool. So the change list release 2020-06-24A. All right, so adding the Pro HUD downloadable content, very cool. Uh, add profanity filter when custom settings in the user folder. Um, in most cases, I gotta be honest, in most cases I am basically against profanity filtering. It's not Earthworks, uh, Earthwork Games responsibility to protect you, it's your job to protect yourself. However, the age group of Forts players is very young. So in this specific case, I think this is fantastic. I think this is a very, very cool feature that they've done. Um, I, I, I support it wholeheartedly for this game. I think that's a great idea. Uh, add alerts to new lobbies checkbox and rank menu screen. Uh, I know that they have actually talked about that on the Discord a little bit about sitting there for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, waiting for a ranked match with nothing to do. It was brutal, right? So you ended up playing Minecraft or some seven days to die or, you know, watching Synergy's videos on YouTube while you were waiting for a match, now you get to practice or play some other games and then a notification pops up and you get to zip over to your ranked match. I think that's genius. I am so glad that they have done this. Um, added, map language strings are now loaded in multiplayer and skirmish. I am not sure what that means, if that's like, map language strings are now loaded. Maybe there was just like a, I have actually no idea what that means. Someone in the comments, let me know what that means. That would be awesome. Moonshot style achievements panel, uh, cool. So they're just adding some, some graphical stuff. Add account and account reset can be used to track damage. Um, I don't know what that means either, other than, I mean, tracking damage is fantastic. I don't know if that has to do with the player, like you can see how much is a player, or well, how much damage all the players did and see how they like, how they contribute to the match. Um, if anyone can let me know what that is, or developers, if you guys watch this, if you could leave a comment and let me know what that is, or, or get a hold of me in my Discord, link is down below in the description. Um, that would be cool. Improve new neutral group weapon buttons. Uh, that's good. And nudge drop star animations to fit better the achievement panel. <laughs> Some more graph graphical stuff. Optimize. Lobby searches exclude mismatching versions. That's really good. I'm surprised it didn't happen before. It must have been something just overlooked. Uh, that seems something very, very basic. But that's good that they're making sure that, that all the, the um, versions have to be matching. Fixed. Uh, lobby crash. Debug log message causing string buffer overflow by looking up display names. I think that is a spelling error. 
right there. Uh, fix some lobbies, debug messages, get truncated. So we're talking some back-end coding stuff. Uh, when building devices, AI doesn't wait for prerequisites to finish construction. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, fix crash when a segmented material replaces a strut. Huh. Fix armadillo. Door close speed is not improved. So I'm assuming that they've fixed that now and it's now improved. Okay. Uh, fix scatter shot. Shield reflection causes splash and doesn't reflect next shield. So, uh, I'm assuming that that means... So what used to happen with Scattershot is that, that uh, when cannon shots would hit the shield, they would bounce, but it would cause splash damage, which would then damage the shield. So it couldn't uh, reflect perfectly. I believe they fixed that now so that the shields will now reflect perfectly and indefinitely, which means that you can now use um, cannon periscopes again. What that means if you put like a cannon lower down in your base and then you can have shields angled at 45 degrees and then shoot and it'll go up and then come out somewhere else in your base. You could do the same thing with laser periscopes, but now with scattershot you can do that with shields to have cannon periscopes just to play janky. There's absolutely no reason to do that. You could just use portals. Um, but that means that shields are now indefinitely uh, capable of reflecting cannon shots without blowing up. That's huge. That's really, really, really important. Fix stalactites 1v1 can't select in skirmish. <laughs> That's funny. That's something that like no one would notice unless they're like, I want to play stalactites, and then they realize it's not there. Uh, fix stalactites 1v1 display name not set for all languages. Uh, okay. Fix vanilla 100% turbines possible in front of forts. Uh, that must have been lower down, like lower down on the map. You might might have been able to play some. Or build out far enough. I'm not sure. Fix. Vanilla. Possible to hide machine guns behind terrain in front of Fort 1. Man, Fort 1 was like super, super buff in that map. It always seemed like Team 2 just got shafted or, and Team 1 had like all the good stuff. So it's good that they're fixing that map. Fix. Smoked out. Uh, destroy barrel with flak objective fails to trigger. Okay, so it looks like some, some questing type stuff. Fix. If player 2 drops out during load in ranked, host gets a free pass on a dead fort. Oh, cool. Fix. When doors overlap a weapon, only the closest door opens on attempted, attempted firing. Interesting. Uh, fix. Moonshot commanders are not loaded in ranked for non-owners. Uh, causing missing descriptions and desyncs that could do that for sure uh, fix after desync and ranked host can play while client must wait oh interesting uh, fix commander charging and damage tracking is overcounted when a projectile has surplus damage potential I have no idea what that means commander charging and damage tracking so that must be like to build the uh, to build the ability, like the build the points for the ability. It's overcounted when the projectile has surplus damage potential. Is that like a like a warthog thing, or like through a concentratinator? I'm not sure what that means. Damage could be excessively high, cause damage calculations to wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Damage can, that sounds like a Barbaretto thing when he's got 20 cannons firing at you. Damage can be excessively high. Yeah, that is true. That very much can be. Uh, cause damage calculations to wrap. Um, fix. Capture maps are missing in ranked map list, causing crash. Interesting. Uh, crash in ranked capture mode. Okay. I'd love to see more, more capture mode. I honestly would love to see more capture mode. That is one of the coolest uh, modes. It's just a shame it doesn't get played very often because I absolutely love it. Fix. New lobby notifications uh, presents full lobbies. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, fix. New lobby notification can show incorrect number of max players. That's... I'm glad they fixed that. Uh, remove. Enabling and disabling mods in rank lobbies. As that should be. There shouldn't be any mods allowed. Uh, remove. Obsolete. Restart forts.bat. Okay, so some optimization. Thanks for playing forts. Cheers, EWG. That stands for Earthwork Games. Awesome, guys. So we're going to duck in now. I'm going to give you a rundown of the new HUD. Once again, thank you to uh, Earthwork Games for hooking me up with that. I literally got a Discord message at like 1.30 in the morning, which is obviously normal Australian time, I would think. Um, 
nose head hit me up and he's like, hey man, uh, check this out. What's up? <laughs> I'm like, huh, huh, 1.30 in the morning? Um, but it's all good, guys. So uh, let's duck out real quick and we'll show you the HUD. All right, guys, so the very first thing is link for this HUD is going to be down in the description below. You guys click on the link. It'll take you over to the store page where you can purchase this DLC. I'm going to show you right now quickly how to activate it once you've purchased it. So here you're just going to options and you'll see this list right here. HUD skin pro. It should look like this. It'll uh, auto select HUD skin. So you here, if you just want to use the pro one, you can just select pro. You'll see it changes up here. Moonshot default. So make sure to select that pro. Uh, and then play your game. So we're just gonna do a skirmish here real fast. All right, guys, so here we are in game. This is the brand new HUD. You can see here that they've commander, they've got the uh, the power up meter, I think looks pretty awesome. Um, you've got your new core locator button. So when you're out and about, you can click that new meters, um, side scrolling bar. So when you have lots of stuff, I mean, you can move over there, but you can also click the button. It does stuff. I think that's just really cool. Uh, if you guys listen carefully, you'll be able to hear the, the new sounds. So each one of these has a different sound. So if you were playing, uh, you can have an audible cue, which I know that, uh, top two players like. So when you're selecting stuff. I think that sounds pretty awesome, guys. There's a uh, menu sound effects, new menu here. Um, I really think that that Earthworks Games is onto something fantastic here, um, guys. Even if you don't like the HUD or you think it's a waste of money, I highly recommend you get it anyway and support Earthwork Games. Now, the developing team is is, is relatively small and. Purchasing small DLCs like this is a great way for us as players to help support the developers in continuing to maintain and update forts, keep it current, keep patches coming, and to keep the game fun. So please look into this. Again, link is down below over to the store page. Uh, very, very cool in my honest opinion. Um, having the pin button, I'm not sure if that's new to this HUD or not, but to have the, the pin so it scrolls out of the way, um, kind of cool. Um, Shift Q pretty standard you guys should know about this brings brings this up as well so that you can have larger selections right on the screen instead of scrolling great for mods um, I honestly think that that custom HUDs is a really cool way for for the forts community to help support the developers I think more custom ones should come maybe a synergy gaming TV one would be pretty awesome wink wink nudge nudge uh, but you guys should definitely uh, look into getting this to help support the developers guys thank you so much for watching synergy gaming TV Remember to subscribe. I'm your host, Synergy, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.